there was a very pious saint, Mansur ibn Ammar, rahimahullah ta'ala. During his time, there was a very sinful person. No good deeds in his life. Luxurious life, enjoyment, whatever the nafs desires. One day he said to his slave, here take this money, four dinar, four gold coins, take this money, go to the marketplace and make preparations for the party tonight. Friends are coming. So the slave left the house of the master, this sinful person, to go to the marketplace. And he passed by a gathering outside the house of Mansur ibn Ammar. A very large gathering. And it's natural that when you see a gathering, you want to find out what's happening. So the slave also stopped for a while to find out what's happening. And he heard Mansur ibn Ammar rahimahullah ta'ala saying that if someone gives me four dinar, I will make four prayers for him. I have a poor person here. He is in need. He needs four dinar. I don't have money. I want to help him. He is genuine. So if somebody can give me four dinar, I will make four duas for him. So the slave said, Hazrat, four dinar. Four dinar. So he gave the four dinar to this poor person. And he turned to the slave, Mansur ibn Ammar, rahimahullah ta'ala, and he said, what prayer shall I make for you? So he said, prayer number one. Make dua for me that Allah grants me freedom. I am a slave. I want to be free. Make dua. Mansur ibn Ammar rahimahullah ta'ala made this dua for him. That, oh Allah, grant him freedom. So, dua number two. Make dua for me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very quickly return this four dinar to me. Because he knew it did not belong to him and he has to return it to his master. He was a pious person. So, Mansur ibn Ammar rahimahullah ta'ala made the second dua. Dua number three. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants my master the tawfiq to do tawba and repent. Because he was hurt from inside. He was very pious when he used to see his master in dis- disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dua number four, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants me, my master, you and all present here forgiveness. He returned home empty handed. So the master said, where were you? What took you so long? And you have to come empty handed? So he narrated the whole incident. So reclining on the couch he was sitting on because he found it very amusing that a person can give four dinar for four prayers. So he said, what prayers did he did you ask him to make for you? So he said, the first thing I asked him to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for me was that Allah grants me freedom. A few moments ago he was surprised and it was like a joke for him. But as soon as the slave mentioned this, he said, you are free for the pleasure of Allah. Anta hurrun liwajihillah. Mansur ibn Ammar rahimahullah ta'ala, a very pious saint, Allah had accepted his dua. And then, his sincerity, the sincerity of the slave, that he was not only looking for freedom for himself, look at the other prayers. He said, number two, he said, I said to him that make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returns for dirham as soon as possible. So I can return it to you. So he called his treasurer, his accountant. And he said, give him 4,000 dinar. He said, this is a gift from me. Number three. He said, I asked him to make dua for you that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you the tawfiq to repent and may Allah make you a good Muslim, a perfect Muslim. 
He said, bear witness, I have repented from everything. I have made Toba. And the Toba was so firm that he called his other slaves and he said, remove all the articles of disobedience from the home immediately. Break everything. Take everything away from the home. He said, Dua number four, he said, I asked him to make Dua for me, for you, for himself, and for the whole gathering that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins. By this time, because of Tawbah, his heart had become clean, soft, tears were rolling down his cheeks, and he looked up towards the sky, the master, and he said, Oh Allah, I did what was in my ability. Now you do what is in your ability. That night he went to sleep. And he saw an angel in the dream. And he said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent me to give you this message that you are a mere weak creation of mine. And if you can do what is in your ability, will I as the creator not do that which is in my ability? I have forgiven you, your slave, Mansur ibn Ammar, and the whole gathering. What we need to do is, what is within our ability? As soon as a person repents, his heart is immediately purified. The heart is purified. Even if it seems impossible, repent and say, No Allah, I will not commit this sin anymore. And Allah's help will come. And if shaitan still pushes you towards that sin, repent again, again and again, again and again.